New event is out guys and in this video I want to explain you why you should make it even if you're free to play player, I want to give you million reasons why you should get it. But at first let me quickly guide you where you can get it and with a new feature downgrade your Astral Forge equipments. To make a new weapon you need to visit Cosmic Cast which is placed beside Astral Forge where you merge your equipments. After you'll open it to cast a new weapon you'll need 50 Eternal, 50 Void Cores and 2000 equipment based materials. When you'll have it all press and cast button and you will get your double S weapon. With the new weapon we can downgrade Astral Forge equipments. Really useful feature special for those who made a mistake like I. After downgrading my eternal boots I salvaged them and got 80 eternal cores. By the way guys you can also downgrade your Astral Forge kunai and get back weapons you used to Astral Forge it. In my case two light chasers. Ok guys, so why you should make a new weapon and what is the difference between our S weapons and a new relic weapon. The first what you have, we have a new quality relic quality which gives you additional skill. With the new skill with a new quality the maximum level is increased to 200, while for legend plus 4 it is 160. What I noticed from downsides for a new weapon you will need more designs, more coins. As you can see my relic weapon with the same amount of designs is level 134 while my legend plus 4 the sword of disorder is level 159. But a new weapon with lower level will give you higher attack. The new weapon is harder to astral forge but you'll have more possibilities you'll have more stars to astral forge it. We have void forge and eternal forge both of them has 5 stars. What I highly recommend you to do is to astral forge eternal forge. With Astral Forge 1 star your weapons at the beginning of the battle will be at level 3. Really useful skill especially for Ender's Echo. Only downside it has that you cannot downgrade it like Astral Forge equipments. Anyway, you will not need it. To Astral Forge the new weapon from weapons you need Light Chaser or Void Power. As for me now in wishlist you should change your weapon on Light Chaser or Void Power. Of course guys I tested the new weapon and the first where I tested it was Ender's Echo. I was lucky to make Heavy Nova in both runs before Destroyer, by the way my uh, my weapon is not Astral Forge. As you can see it doesn't overpower Destroyer but I believe that a certain Astral Forge star it will. Also do not forget that it gives you a way higher attack than S equipments. So yes in Ender's Echo it's a top weapon now. I also tried it in Extreme Challenge it did a great damage, a little less than Destroyer. But again guys it's not even Astral Forge 1 star. The Pass of Trust was easier with this weapon than with the Sword of Disorder. In Pass of Trust it's also the best weapon. Today I cannot test it only in Clan Expedition. But I think knowing Clan Expedition it will be the best weapon again. That's all about New Relic Weapon Twinland Starforge Havoc. In comments write what you think about it. Do not forget to subscribe my channel and would be great if you will like this video. because. It helps me to make a better content for you.